this is another one of my marker feature things. Um, I never really intended to do these, but I think they're a great idea. Uh, I know that some people really need the combination of like being able to watch someone demonstrate something in real time with uh, the vocal element. Uh, and it's a little bit easier for me because um, writing blog posts takes a lot of time. And uh, uh, those of you who voted in the poll on my blog said you wanted more um, combined videos. So tutorials where I do um, a video portion and a large text and image segment. So I'm trying to work on that. Um, but I'm also going through my marker collection and showing you guys or demonstrating for you guys some of my weirder markers or um, some of the newer ones that people don't really talk about yet or some of the more overlooked like hidden gems. I know there's a lot of marker videos on YouTube. Um, I watch a lot of them. <laughs> Usually after I've written the post like by a year and then I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so, so that's what you're doing with those. That's cool. But I, this is more a supplement to my blog for my readers. If you have found me by searching for, like for example, chameleon alcohol-based markers, then hi, welcome. I hope you stick around. There's going to be more content. You should check out the blog. There's lots. There's six years worth of content there. Um, anyway, on chameleon, today I'm going to show you the chameleon markers. I've already written, the, the post is on the blog, it has been on the blog for um, several months now, but I don't get as many hits for it considering how many people ask about them. Now these are markers that I feel like are really made for crafters and not at all made for artists. And the reason for this is there's A, there's no colorless blender, and B, um, well, you'll see in a minute. So the way these work, these are twin tips. They have a, a very uninspiring, what they call a Japanese nib, which doesn't look like any of the other Japanese nibs I've tested. It's pretty pathetic. And a bullet nib. So already you've got a strike. And they've got a smaller color family than Copic or Prismacolor or Blick because the whole, the whole deal is you don't need to buy multiple shades these markers come with their own colorless blender. Now I ordered a pack of six because um, I'm not made of money. I would have loved to have tested more, especially some skin tones for you guys, but um, I'm on a limited budget and I do what I can with what I have. Um, and I don't currently have any sponsors, so it's, you know, it's all coming out of my pocket. Um, and to get the skin tones, the way these are sold are weird because you can get a set of the primaries, which is what I bought, and then with larger sets you can get other colors. I've never seen these open stock. So, so um, that's another strike for me because I really think the key for most normal people who are building a collection of markers is to slowly buy the colors they need open stock. And if your company doesn't offer these open stock, then I probably won't be investing in your product. I mean, these are these are fine colors, but they they're no they're no skin tones. There's no earth tones. <laughs> Those are the colors I use. Part of the reason why I say they're for crafters. Now, as you can see, these things are are pretty huge. Let's pull out a Shinhan Twin Touch, which is one of my larger in terms of length markers. It's still really big, not really meant to slip into a pocket or a purse, um, and they have. Two tips. I should actually put that down. I'll get that to that. Get to that in a minute. So when you take off the uh, colorless blender chamber, you're actually left with a marker that's a lot smaller than other markers. Now the thing about these is they are supposedly refillable. Although I've never seen refills sold in my local Jerry's or um, Michaels or. I don't know. I live in Nashville. Uh, I don't know of too many craft specific craft and scrapbooking stores specifically in the Nashville area outside of Hobby Lobby, which I've never seen refills for these four or Michaels. Um, so good luck finding refills. And they, they're refill kind of weird too. You use a syringe, which I know a lot of people do for Copics, but um, I just like. I just remove the nib and squirt the 
ink into the go big barrel, right? It just seems easier than like fiddling with syringes. Okay, so this weird thing contains colorless blender for these markers. And in order to get lighter tones, you can't go darker, you can only go lighter, you have to charge the marker by um, holding it in. And I think it goes this way. So the, the charging thing, the colorless blender, right? Okay, and uh, you, you hold the tip so it's removing color from your marker. And I'm sorry, I have to hold it upright. And um, in the blog post, I did it by counts of 10 seconds. Then you remove it and, oh, well that didn't work out super well. Let's, let's try that again. I think you want the colorless blender to flow into the marker, but maybe you want the ink to flow out. But I think it makes more sense for the blender to flow into the marker. And I did it the way that's recommended by the chameleon people on my blog post. It's just been several months. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, okay, so there you go. And like what they promise is a perfect gradation without the need to buy additional markers. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. I mean, there is some, and you can get um, more striking effects by holding it longer. Like, um, I'm gonna, you, and you can't just like set it down either because the caps are beveled and they feature family name and color name. And let's try it with their Japanese super tip because the bullet nib is scratchy to begin with. So, and that's never a good thing. These are also not substantially cheaper than other alcohol based markers. I mean, you're going to have to, depending on what you want to do with them, you're going to have to buy fewer of them if all you really want are transitions from pastel to dark. And I'm sure there are people out there who that's all they want, but I don't. I want more. I demand more. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's my perfect blend there. And um, let's see how well they blend into each other. I mean, uh, the, the primary set includes some pretty disparate colors. I mean, they're all right. They're, they're comparable. I mean, like, like this area is an orange from where I can see, but it doesn't show up as orange for you guys. Anyway, those are the chameleon markers. I recommend you check out my blog post on chameleon markers to help, uh, finalize maybe your decision. If you think these are great for you, or if you're like me and you are obsessed with testing everything in a certain genre that you can get your hands on and you don't care what my opinion is, that's cool. Um, I think my post has links where you can buy them. Uh, but if you were on the fence, if you were wondering, I hope my post and my video helped you decide. Have a good day, guys. Bye.